Hi, welcome to our tasting here at Chuao Chocolatier. I am Chef Michael and I'm here to guide you through this journey of joy. Today we're going to taste our taste of joy. As you know, our intention as a company is to share joy with the world through deliciously engaging chocolate experiences. And today we're just going to go and do that. Taste of Joy is a little box of eight mini bars that is designed for you to taste and share with your loved ones, friends and family. And today, we're going to walk through the journey of tasting each individual bar. So, we have eight mini bars that I have ordered in an order I believe should be done this way because I feel we can go from the mildest flavor all the way to the most exciting experience. As you will notice, our eight bars are eight distinct experiences in chocolate. And this is what I like so much about our chocolates because none of them taste the same. Our first mini bar that we're going to taste is the potato chip mini bar. This one is a super popular bar because it puts together two of my favorite things. Chocolate and potato chips. Like if you go to the movies and you have your potato chips and your, your mouth gets really super salty and, and sharp in taste, you have a little piece of chocolate to balance it out and get nice and sweet. And then you go back to the potato chip and you kind of play from sweet to savory or salty all day long through the movie. So, uh, having experienced that many times in my life, I decided to put that all together in one bar. So, how can I go wrong? Two of the favorite things all together in one bar. Now we're going to see how it tastes. You grab a piece of this chocolate. Ideally, the temperature should be somehow room temperature. If it's too cold, it's harder for the palate to really go through the nose. But it is a milk chocolate bar, 41% dark milk chocolate, and it has very crunchy kettle cooked potato chips. Mm. Mm. As you bite in, as you will notice, you immediately taste and feel the texture of the very crunchy potato chips inside. So it's mostly crunch, chocolate, a little slight note of salt but as you go through the experience and the chocolate kind of leaves the mouth you're left with little pieces of potato chip that you keep grinding with your teeth and it brings up all those notes of potato chip that you love so much so it is a long experience because you want to go slow you don't want to just crank it down you want to go slow where you enjoy it you see it through and then once your mouth is completely cleaned up and you have more chocolate in it you're ready for another piece. And so the experience starts over. I wish I had a microphone or one of those uh, super sensitive microphones. You could hear the crunch. But you're hearing it in your head, I know that. Mmm, very good. I would even venture to say that this chocolate would go with a nice Chardonnay too. So, you know, if you're laying around your house in the afternoon, today, where, you know, it's five o'clock every hour of the day. You can just reach for that Chardonnay and have a little piece of that chocolate with it. Enjoy your potato chips chocolate. Well, so now we're gonna go into the Sprinkle Dreams. Now, Sprinkle Dreams is a beautiful name, of course. You know, it's full of color. And, uh, and if you notice in the package, there is a little bit of an ice cream cone. And uh, when I created this chocolate, I figured out that I can create a chocolate that somehow brings the experience of that last piece of the ice cream cone when you're left with a little bit of chocolate and the crunchy cone and somehow there's nuts in it too. So it is really one of the favorite parts, at least for me, in the ice cream. Once you have gone through all that ice cream and it is like the reward at the end of the ice cream. So not that the ice cream hasn't been rewarding all along, right? But so. This one here intended to present that type of experience and I think it really does it very well. We have a waffle cone inside a milk chocolate bar and also have hazelnuts. Now hazelnuts and chocolate for me go really really beautiful. And then we put these little sprinkles on top which makes it really festive too. So this is definitely a bar to share with your family, with the kids. As you can see it's got all the sprinkles in it. And again this one's going to have crunch and you'll see how the flavor of the hazelnuts really get into very nutty layer in your mouth. So, enjoy. Mm. Oh, I just want to have to have two pieces in a row.
Mm. Now you can tell how the chocolate initially dominates the whole experience, but as soon as it departs, the waffle begins to be the big actor here. And then the hazelnut layer is just so fundamental for the whole experience. The sprinkles, of course, give you crunch. You get the crunch from the waffle too. So you have texture, you have uh, flavor layers. So as in many of our chocolates, what I like to say is that we have a multi-layer sensory experience. So we go through texture, we go through flavor layers that start normally with the chocolate and then eventually go really elegantly into different notes according to the different type of tastes that we are going through. And now we're going to taste the Oh My S'mores. This one has a very special story because as I am not uh, American, I did not grow up here with the wonders of the s'mores, experiences of the bonfires. But our director of branding created this sort of like a guerrilla campaign, putting posters everywhere on the corridors uh, in my office, you know, posters that said, uh, America needs s'mores, we want s'mores, like full-on campaign, and I was like, oh my god, I don't know how to do this, you know, it's like, uh, how do I get the marshmallows and all that combined, until one day, I found a company that made these tiny little vegan marshmallows that are just fantastic, so I got to work, and eventually, we started putting together the delicious graham crackers with the milk chocolate and those big marshmallows on top, and, you know, I have to really be thankful for that push, because this bar has turned out to be our number one selling bar. So here we're going to taste it. As you can see, we have these little marshmallows up on top. And of course, once you taste this, again like all the other bars, you will have that initial chocolate mouthfeel full of flavor, the crunch of the graham crackers, and then you get this nice squishy marshmallow with such sweetness that makes this whole experience an unbelievable one. Mm. Wow. As we like to say, if it's not a wow, it's not a true wow. And that's actually a really good way for you to remember how to pronounce the name of the company. You chew and say wow. You know, with the three vowels together in English, it's a little hard to pronounce, but remember, chew and say wow. And if it's not a wow, it's not a true wow. Wow. Again, I'm on brand. <laughs> so, We'll continue to the next one. All right, three down, five to go. Our first dark chocolate mini bar is our salted chocolate crunch. This bar has a long story. I'm just going to say it really quickly, but when I was growing up, I was in a club playing tennis. And uh, they would serve these paninis, they would have this baguette, savory bread, and put a bar of chocolate, and they put it in the panini press. And for me that was just glorious, because you get the savory notes of the bread, of course, and then the sweet chocolate inside. And I wanted to replicate that experience inside a chocolate bar. In this case, of course, it's not a baguette, so, as I like to say, also our experiences are all very suggestive. They're not literal, so it's not like there's going to be a big croissant inside here, but the idea is that while, while you go through the experience, you get the layers and you get the experience without it being incredibly literal. So our salted chocolate crunch has a pack of breadcrumbs inside in dark chocolate and a little bit of salt to balance out the experience. So super crunchy. It's almost like a, a you know high-end or let's say gourmet crunch bar. Again now this is our dark chocolate. It's a 60% dark chocolate that we use as our private blend. And we're gonna have a lot of crunch from the panko breadcrumbs. Mm. Now this is definitely completely different from the milk chocolate. Because our, our dark chocolate has the, the, the particularity that it has some sort of tart notes that bring a lot more fruitiness to it. So you will notice with this chocolate, that has a little bit of acidity to it, which I find super interesting because through that acidity, it really brings a lot of fruity notes. It's much of a vertical type of flavor profile. The panko breadcrumbs, super grounded, super nice, crunchy, very comforting, and of course a touch of salt to balance out the whole experience. 
At this point you might be looking for your Cabernet or maybe other type of wine and actually maybe even a nice sipping rum or a single malt whiskey would be awesome for this too. Enjoy! So we're halfway through, right? Which is great. How much soy have you guys been feeling right now? At least I have. So, right now, I'm going to present to you the Honeycomb Bar. This is our, this is widely popular. This is our most popular bar because it is really a bar that is super centered. You know, it really appeals to most people. Uh, as a note, you can find this in American Airlines at the cheese platter. So this is super fun. Um, the Honeycomb Bar is our signature dark chocolate with uh, confectioner honeycomb. So what we do here is we caramelize honey and sugar and then we let it puff up. And then once it puffs up, it gets this honeycomb type structure inside. And it gets really crunchy and super delicious because it has all those honey notes. We use this really beautiful organic honey for it. And then uh, we crunch it down and we mix it in with the chocolate. So you get that, that kind of tart, you know, super fruity chocolate layer, and it adds up a layer of honey and crunch to it, which is delicious. So here we go, we're gonna taste it together. Mm. Again, super crunchy. And then, what's really super interesting is that you first get full on chocolate. <clears throat> and as you go through the whole chocolate, the honey notes start building up and start saturating your palate. So you get this really super nice honey coating in your mouth. So it's, uh, it's actually gorgeous. This one is really fun for playing with desserts too. So you can do a lot of things, a lot of things, chocolate chip cookies. You can play around with this one because it just plays in every field. Uh, a really super good sipping rum with this would be awesome uh, because it has the honey notes even you could play out with some nice fruity and kind of almost in the sweet side not too sweet but round chardonnays or even some riesling wines would work well with this too and i would venture out to go into the craft beer with this one too so you have lots of beers that have full body a lot of flavor and a, a beer that has some of those caramel notes would really dance with this chocolate bar enjoy it Well, here we venture into a very fun bar. This is our Mintfully Brownie Bar, which uh, has a super long story about how it was created, but I'm just going to shorten it up for you. Uh, I found this tiny little kind of Oreo-ish kind of cookies that I really wanted to play with because they tasted so good. And I was making this, I thought, okay, let's make it taste like brownie, but the edge, you know, the crunchy side of the brownie. And I wanted to make a brownie bar, so I started making different versions of it, but it wasn't coming along. It wasn't coming out. And one day, I got a letter from uh, Vista School here, uh, sixth graders. They had a project in science and they had to create a chocolate bar. So they played with the uh, different combinations and they came out with a mint and mint brownie chocolate bar. And when I got that letter, because the letter was, you know, kind of telling us how they have been inspired by the kind of the flavor combinations that we do, I thought, oh my god, mint, that's the idea. So I immediately went to work, got some mint, mixed it up with the chocolate and the little brownie cookies, and it worked. So I called the school in, I called the kids in, and I wanted to tell them, because it was a project about science, and I wanted to share with them how, how a product can go from an idea like that and into the market. I wanted them to feel how they can produce something that it goes completely commercial into the market. So they came in, and we had a beautiful time tasting our prototypes and we together fine-tuned it. Eventually, we got the bar out, we got it in the market, we brought it back in again, and as it came in, they could see the finished product, and they have been so proud, and we have been so proud to share this experience with them. So this is a collaborative effort, I would have to say. And uh, you know when you get the writer's block and you can't really move forward, that's where I was. But these kids unblocked it. So we're gonna taste this. This is gonna have a lot of crunch, because those cookies are pretty crunchy. And we put this uh, mint on top, which are this like jewelry, kind of jewelry looking crystals. So it's super nice, super pretty. 
as you can see, and it's gonna carry a load of flavor because the little cookies are very deep and rich in dark chocolate kind of a flavor, and the mint just brings up the contrast, super nice. Mm. Wow, this one with a nice coffee, mm. yes sir, this is great. Yeah, a coffee with this bar all day long, delicious. Okay, now I'm really getting excited, maybe because of all the chocolate I've had, but uh, I have to say, spicy Maya. This is one of our signature bars. This was the first bar we created 18 years ago. Uh, and when we created this bar, I wanted to, this was when there was really no spicy chocolate pretty much anywhere. We were one of the first ones to start putting chilies in chocolate. But I wanted to sort of uh, celebrate the heritage of the uh, Mayan tradition around cacao and around chocolate. And way back then, they wouldn't eat this really sweet chocolates. They would eat cacao and they would spice it up with cinnamon and they would add some chilies in it. And I thought, wow, the chilies and chocolate, they're just a match made in heaven. So I created a modern version of what the Mayas and Aztecs would probably be eating today if they would be around. So this is more for the modern palate. It's our 60% signature dark chocolate, and I add just a little bit of cinnamon, a little pasilla chili, and some cayenne pepper. So this one is going to heat up on your throat. You'll see how the cayenne pepper only affects your throat, and the idea is that it doesn't affect your palate. It just goes into this really warm experience in your throat. So, enjoy this. At this point, we probably need to get some mezcal or some really good sipping tequila out so that we can completely celebrate Mexico. Mm. Very distinct. The cinnamon is the first thing that really creates an atmosphere around the chocolate. You get the tart, acidic, fruity notes of the chocolate. And right away you get the earthy tones of the pasilla chili and immediately your throat starts warming up. You get this super fun little sensory experience in your throat. It's not going to get too hot, you know, we don't want to ruin the experience. We want it to elevate, to really enhance the senses somehow and, uh, and have them all be active and present. So this one is definitely, uh, this one is delicious if you melt it down and you make like a hot chocolate with some milk. We can make even a mocha with this. This used to be our favorite drink, the Maya mocha that we sell. So I would have to say that this one really brings the roots out of Chuao in the sensory real. Super delicious. All right. All right, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the king and the queen of our chocolate bars. This is the firecracker. Again, this one has a long story, but I'll give you the summarized version. Uh, when I went to culinary school, I was in Europe, I visited these super creative restaurants in Spain. And uh, they give you this kind of amuse-bouche, sort of like welcome little dish when you arrive in this restaurant uh, in uh, southern Spain. And uh, it had this sauce with these little sausages that we ate. And the sauce had all kinds of popping candy in it. So we eat it, and you feel like you know your mouth starts crackling and like cooking, like you're almost like sizzling your sausage in your mouth. And I'm like, whoa, what happened? So then we go through a beautiful meal. At the end, I ask the chef, so what, what's the idea behind this? And he said, well, when people come here, they're in their heads, they're talking business, they're really busy, they're talking discussion, and they could go through a whole meal without noticing what they ate. But the moment they eat that plate, it turns the conversation all about the meal. And so he was right. So it took me a while to find this unflavored popping candy. This is carbonated sugar crystals. And I wanted to create an experience also in that super sensory world where we get into what I call a surround sound multi-sensory experience with this bar. So our signature dark chocolate uh, is, uh, has a lot of popping candy and some chipotle chili which is smoky. So you get the smoky of the fire, you get the popping of the cracker. Right, so you have literally a firecracker. Uh, again, super fun bar uh, at this point. Uh, this would be the one that has the most capacity to arouse all your senses. 
And again, this one is one that you really need to consume very slowly. If you crunch through it and you just crunch it and swallow it, you'll miss half of the experience. So you have to bite into it, bite twice, use your tongue to move it around, and wait. And then you squeeze your tongue to your palate, don't bite, and wait. And you do this. And it's almost like you can turn the volume on and off. Okay, the moment you press up, it really starts crackling from ear to ear and just going inside your head. And then you stop, it quiets down, move your tongue around, it comes up alive again. So this is, you could do a chocolate meditation with this. Super, super awesome. It has some heat, which is fun too, because it really arouses all the senses in your throat through that chipotle chili. But the most fun part is definitely those popping candies because it really makes you giggle and smile. You know, some people when they're talking, it's like loud, you know, so you really wanna take a time for yourself. This is a very private bar. You can have this uh, on your own in a quiet place and go back to your childhood. So enjoy the firecracker. It's my favorite and our signature bar. Cheers. Well, this is our Tasty Joy tasting. And uh, it was fun to be with you guys, even if it is through a camera. Uh, I hope you guys have fun going through this tasting with your friends and family. And uh, I wanna thank you for uh, being part of our community. And please stay tuned for further tastings.